To start this glue up, we are first going to press the frame onto our deck skin and ensure that we have really good contact between the skin and the ribs and spine in all locations. That includes any bottom details like concaves or belly that might exist. Now take your deck skin and line it up over your rocker table, being sure to get the central seam aligned with the spine along with the rib locations that you marked earlier with the ribs of the rocker table. What we're trying to do is press a flat board into this curved profile. And one thing that we can do to make life a little bit easier if you've got the time is to saturate the deck skin in the area that has the most rocker. So that's typically the nose. So get a spray bottle of water and saturate the nose of the board and let it sit there with some weight on it for a good hour or so, so that the fibers have time to swell and then compress, and that's gonna just make life a whole lot easier. Once you're happy with the placement of your skin, bring your frame over and lay it on top of the deck skin, being sure to align it with the central seam and the rib positions that you marked earlier. Now, it's a good idea to apply some weight to the frame to help hold things in place while we work with this. So if you have some weights or even some old bricks, chuck that on top now, and that will make your life a whole lot easier. Now, the better you can get things aligned, the more success you're going to have with your rocker table. So take your time here to really sight down the length of the board and ensure that the central seam is centered to both the rocker table and the frame, as well as the ribs being aligned up with the ribs on the rocker table. Now, once everything is aligned and you're sure that it's good, you can start applying clamps. Now, as we said earlier, the clamps in this case are going to be ratchet straps, but if you're using a different method, just take the same approach as we're going to outline here. Now, when it comes to applying the clamping pressure, we don't want to go all for nothing. And by that, I mean we don't want to crank down as hard as we can on this clamp before a clamp at the other end of the board has got any pressure at all. So we want to take it in stages. Start by applying light pressure to somewhere near the nose, then do it in the middle, then at the tail. Then move back up to the nose and apply more pressure and repeating that until all of your clamps have got good clamping pressure and everything is fully seated on the rocker table. Once all of your clamps have been applied, it is normal to still have a bit of a gap at the nose and or tail, depending on the design that you're working with. So don't worry if you haven't got good contact right up there at this stage, we're really just concerned about the majority of the spine and those ribs having good contact. At this stage, you'll need to inspect that you have good contact across the ribs and spine. So go over it really carefully and just press around and make sure that things are pressed up firmly into your frame. If you notice that there's a spot that isn't making full contact, you might need to come in with a little wedge or shim from the underside and just press it up so that you're making good contact. Now, once you're happy with your frame making good contact to your deck skin all over, it's time to apply the glue. Now, at this stage, you don't need to remove any clamps, but instead, you're just gonna take your polyurethane glue and apply a generous speed to all of the corners that are making contact. So that is the corner between the ribs and the deck skin, the spine and the deck skin, and the rails and the deck skin. Now, apply glue to all the inner corners, but don't worry about doing it to the outside of the rails, as this would just get trimmed off in a later step. Lastly, you'll need to come up to your nose and tail, depending on your design, and apply glue under the nose blocks and rails and apply clamps around the perimeter until you've got good contact between the deck skin and those areas that weren't quite making contact. If you're working on a fish, you won't have a tail block to worry about, but you will just wanna check that your rails are an even space away from your spine, so you're left with a symmetrical outline. Once you've got glue on all of those surfaces, it's time to let it dry and maybe clean up the shop. Now we've done a lot of testing with this gluing method of just applying the bead to the corners and we can assure you it is just as strong as if you had put it on the faces of the ribs. The benefits of this is you are guaranteed good glue contact on all of those seams because you've got the time to make sure it's applied correctly. Plus, you can really spend the time ahead of time with your rocker table getting things pressed in just right without then having to detach the clamps and then have to try and get it set up just the way it was for a second time. Once you've waited overnight for your glue to dry, you can remove the clamps 
and you are left with a bottom deck skin attached to your frame.